top five Thanksgiving disasters you're probably not prepared for. Number five. If you screw up the turkey, there will be no Thanksgiving. The first thing people do is procrastinate on the holidays. Two days before Thanksgiving, you won't be able to enter a grocery store without having to cancel your plans for the evening because every person in town will be making a last-minute mad dash for the same core ingredients that make up every Thanksgiving dinner in the country. Number 4. Stock up on the beer and toilet paper. If you're lucky enough to live in a town that has a store that stays open on Thanksgiving, then awesome. You just have to deal with the other thousand people in line who all forgot to stock up and then get back to your party. Number 3 You don't have enough dishes and you sure as heck don't have enough chairs. When you think of Thanksgiving, you always picture the eating part, not the preparation. The easy solution to this is to buy a truckload of plastic cups, plates and spoons. And as for the chairs, just hire them. And if you don't have the money for that, well, beg, borrow, steal. Number 2 If you mix the wrong people, somebody will certainly die. Let's rewind back to the stage when you were deciding who to invite. Sure, there are the people you love who you'll automatically invite, but then there are the people at the fringes, the friends or family of those people who don't have anywhere to go on Thanksgiving and who you feel sorry for. And then you have the people who would perceive the lack of an invitation as a slight against them. So you could have a complicated mix of people. Therefore, you need to make sure that none of those people want to stab any of the others. It's important that you consider not only who you're inviting, but what sort of atmosphere you're setting up. Number 1. The children will destroy everything you love. Even if you don't have kids yourself, there's a good chance that someone you've invited does. And that means you're going to have to come up with stuff for them to do. So all that means is you'll need to talk to their parents before the holiday and tell them to bring along something to keep the kids occupied. The last thing kids want to do is sit around a television with a room full of old people.